name is Duran Robinson. I'm a fourth year electrical apprentice. My name is Craig Laws, and I am the Managing Director of Brilliant Solutions Limited. The job of an electrician is to provide the electrical systems, install them and to maintain them, as well as to certify them in all of the uh, commercial, residential, industrial, and um, any facility that requires power. In electrical field, there's different, so many different aspects of electrical. You have residential and you have commercial. The residential is basically homes, fairly really simple situations unless you have security systems and home automation it has touch screens, cameras around your house. The job of electrician is well versatile. There are so many different areas that you can be able to apply your skills in. There's areas in the industry which are in the field that are vast. You can do fire alarm work, you can work on security systems, you can work on electrical distribution systems, you can also work on intelligence where you can be able to put together controls for smart houses and for automated systems in the commercial industry. But also you have the ability to work in other areas of the industry which sometimes get left out. There are areas that we need in our, our uh, administration that are very important. Some of those areas are areas like drafting, uh, also estimating, as well as engineering. The kinds of skills that are necessary to be a good electrician are having good motor skills, the ability to uh, work with your hands and to work on various aspects of tools and equipment. You also have to have the uh, ability to have good comprehension so that when you're reading documentation or work orders or a change orders or anything in the field, you know exactly what is being directed to you. You also have to have the ability to have good uh, geometrical skills, to be able to read diagrams, plans of that nature, as well as have good math skills to work out uh, problems. When an apprentice is put onto the job, they are put to work with uh, journeymen, and with journeymen, they learn the trade through uh, training on the job. They attend uh, classes at the Bermuda College once a week where they learn the theoretical portion of the uh, industry and then they're put back on the job to work uh, during the rest of the week with these journeymen. I graduated from the work secondary school in 1987. Worked in the field for, for 15 years. Attended the Bermuda College, currently in my fourth year. And when I graduate, I'll be a qualified electrician. And I'm also part of a brotherhood of the International Brotherhood of Electrical Workers that's recognized worldwide. And I can go anywhere in the world where Canadian and American contractors go and work. Once you are enrolled in the apprenticeship program, you will be required as an apprentice to attend courses at the Bermuda College once a week. The rest of the week you will be working with an electrical contracting firm where you may be able to earn money at the same time as you earn your certification. To be an electrical apprentice, one has to have a minimum of a high school uh, diploma and they have to have been enrolled in the program uh, being referred by a reputable electrical contracting company that apprentice may opt to be enrolled in our five-year program at the Bermuda College, funded by the NTB, or they can also seek uh, education abroad, where the NTB will fund them and encourage them uh, to which particular institution that they can attend. A successful candidate for being an electrician would have to be highly motivated. They would have to be able to work hard and work long hours. This job is a very demanding job, and it requires one to have the uh, fortitude and the aptitude to want to uh, learn the trade as well as be able to uh, become the best craftsman that they can become in the industry. The role of the National Training Board is to be a liaison between industry and technical education. Uh, they provide training for apprentices uh, from the industry who when they are trained are then allowed to go back into the workforce 
to build a competent and secure and professional workforce for Bermuda. Individuals that are interested in being a part of this program can go to the National Training Board and have the necessary guidance. NTB sponsored me for the past four years to make my journey much easier. If I had to pay for this out of my pocket myself, and plus to pay rent, NTB's really been on my side. <laughs> There is an extreme demand for electricians in the island. Right now, we are, are quite understaffed with the amount of electricians that we need to service the industry. At a young age of, what, 12 years old, I really started doing electrical. My first house was like with my uncle, his mother's house, Hampstead. And he, he really let me explore it and take bull by the horns at a young age. And it gave me a chance to really, like, find who I really am and what I'm capable of.